you've done the uh, calculation on the attendance, then you can come to reports. Let's go to the attendance report here. I'm going to pull a, let me see here, monthly statement report. I'm just going to click on that. I know you won't be able to see this. So I'm just selecting this as well. Just waiting for it to come up. There we go. I'll select this as well. So this is what the report looks like at the end. All right, so I calculated for the first until today, remember? And then you'll see here all of the days for just Marnu. I think it's just for Marnu. No, it's not. It's for everyone in the company. So you can either have a report for everyone in the company or you can pull it for just one person. I'll show you how to do that as well. But let's say, for example, you want to pull a report for everyone in the company from the first until today. Then you'll see here the times that they had break. So this guy had an hour break. Over here, he had an hour break again. He was required to work seven hours, 30 minutes. He worked eight hours. Uh, and this is just the round. Uh, so the round work is just a round off. I would not recommend looking at this. This is just, uh, sometimes it shows uh, incorrectly because it's from China. <laughs> so it will show you uh, how long they've actually worked, how many times they were absent within this time. So if you would like a weekly report, I mean, you can always just calculate for a week instead. So we'll just go here, for example. I'll just select everyone and I'll calculate from the 11th until today. I'm going to search or no, no, no. Calculate, I need to calculate, not search, my bad. Calculate from the 11th, calculate until today. For everyone, there we go. Then if I go to reports, attendance report let's just uh, select one person custom employee only for marne for example because that's the only one i want monthly statement then you'll see from the 11th until today this is a weekly report okay so you'll see here i only came in once um, this was the required hours that i need to work i worked eight hours and there we go this is the amount of hours that i've worked so this, this is basically it. And obviously when you pull a report and you had a logo, then your logo will display here at the top, but I did not have a logo. So unfortunately that will not be displayed. Uh, and then also if you had something approved or checked by, then you can, this will also be shown here as well. All right, so uh, it will show you the time that you pulled the report, et cetera, et cetera. So this is, just, this is just some reports that you can maybe pull, transactions report. Oh no, you didn't, you weren't able to see that. Oh. Okay, my bad. But uh, you are able to select just for one person, for example. Uh, then also transactions, attendance, absence reports, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you're you are free to choose any one of these following reports. You can also create your own reports by clicking on this add button over here. If you click on that, a new window will pop open, and you'll be able to create your own reports. I'm not going to do training on that, but you are always uh, more than welcome. To have a look at this as well so it looks like this and then you can just uh, create your own reports etc etc okay so that is it for today thank you very much everyone that joined i'm going to stop the recording here let me stop the recording